Opinions Unqualified. Uh, welcome to this week's episode of Opinions Unqualified. And firstly, I want to say, <laughs> that's um, like one of those party poppers <laughs> that I just did with my mouth. <laughs> yeah, uh, because uh, we've made a milestone, bro. We're at episode 10. 10. Big time. We've hit double digits. Double digits. And you know what? Uh, the average podcast lasts seven. Seven, I think Marcus said. Yeah. Yep, seven. So the average podcast lasts seven and we're at, at episode 10 at this point in time. And I'd like to think, Sam, that that we're still going strong. I think we're going very strong. I think we're getting stronger, if anything. Well, it's, it's sort of like the, the more... It's like going to the gym. Like, the more you go, the more you do, the better you get at it. Is that like podcasting? Like, the more you do? Or if you shit to start with, you're just bad. I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, the more that we, that we do, we're going to get better, hopefully. I mean, I guess the people that ask whether we're actually getting any better is the, the listeners, because they're the ones that are... Uh, listening to us you know so i mean well, I'm, I'm gonna throw something at you right now and this is the first time you've you've heard this but i have a, an avid listener who contacts me all all the time and the exact comment i got was i have to say sam is growing on me not that he was bad at all but i've never met him so i don't know anything about him and he just seems like an old soul and he's a funny one <laughs> <laughs> I got that message yeah, this, right. this week. So, right. um, you know, I, and I think that I think it's true. You know, the more you do this, you're a shy young lad when we first started out, you know, all those episodes ago, and now you pretty much run the show on us, take the back seat, and, and we're all good to well, go. I don't know about that. I think, I think you are. Uh... You take the lead quite well, and I just uh, I fill in the gaps, you know. But you know, we work well as a team. I think that's the the main thing, you know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So I'm very excited to to say that we've reached episode ten, and, and hopefully we have many, many more. Um, I wanted to start today with I couldn't think of anything like super funny or clever, so we're just going to call it the good news segment um, Love because it. that's that's easy. Um, because we've spoken about you know there's so much negativity you know in the world and. Um, there's a lot of focus on, on the bad things that are happening. So, so we want to brighten up everyone's day and everyone's life by talking about some good stuff. So um, we, had, we had some pretty exciting news this week, Sam, didn't we? Yeah, so um, we had uh, one of our, our listeners respond to our, our challenge that we put out last week or, or two weeks ago. Um, and Essien somehow managed to get Jay from the, the in-betweeners to, to send a, a video message. And I know how big of Inbetweeners fan you are. And I like the show, but you love the show. So how did you feel when you got that? Oh, well, when it got sent to the group, the group chat of, of us boys, um, I reckon I watched it about 10 times, just back to back, just looking at like, is this, is this serious? And um, I, th- I think it was quite similar because all, all us boys on that group chat are massive Inbetweeners fans. Like that's... Back to high school when it first came out, we kind of all got around it, um, and it was a similar reaction to all the other boys as well in that group chat. Just couldn't get enough of it. Oh, well, I I know my, my assistant coach Timmy. Shout out there, bro. Um, he's a massive in between us fan as well. Because I said to him, "Oh, do you watch in between us?" And he's like, "Yeah, man, I've watched every episode. I can tell you what it is before you even know." And I'm like, "Man, you ain't seen this. Like, you don't know what it is." Like, and then I said, "Look." You know, uh, this is an entry in our because he listens to the pod as well, and uh, he goes, "Yeah, he heard. He heard that the the actor that plays Jay is so bored at the moment. He's doing personal <laughs> messages, and uh, he couldn't believe that someone organised for us to get one. So I I, I thought it was pretty, it was pretty cool. I, I man, the the one thing that stands out for me, or there's two things, is that <laughs> Sam, we head down to the caravan club to start with. How funny is it? Like we'll go to the caravan club. Man, I love it. That's... I know." It's so you as well, because it's something you would do. Right. It's the perfect in between. You related it back to in between us, because there's a whole episode of Caravan Club. You yeah. know, like how good. It's it's amazing. And then uh, you get knee deep in clunch, <laughs> which that's what that's what everyone tries to do, isn't it? So uh, uh, yeah. So I thought I thought that little snippet will will stay with me forever. So look, it's a very strong, um, a very strong contender um, at this point in time. Uh, but we know of a couple of other people that are. Uh, that are making entries and um, don't like if you were thinking about entering but you didn't um, like but you're not sure how you're going to compete with that uh, just roll roll with your feelings roll with your heart and you know I'm sure something will come up so just do it it's never too late still another couple of weeks of the um, the challenge out there so plenty of time to uh, get your entry in and, and 
would love to see the more the merrier, really. Yeah, absolutely. So I thought that was pretty special. So if you haven't seen it, get on our Instagram um, and have a look. It's it, it is hilarious, um, uh, and it's it's something pretty cool that sort of directly sort of mentions us as well, which is nice. What I'd like to move on, um, and everyone or most most of the people that listen to the pod understand that I'm a, a basketball coach for for a living and. The exciting news, or the good news for me, is that basketball's restarting in the next few weeks, and in Western Australia, and things are looking pretty good. So the West Coast Classic um, is a, a new competition that they're just making for a ten-week period, and we had our first training this week. Um, so to have the girls on the floor um, competing and playing was was pretty cool. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I know Sam's not playing at this point, but you know, um, you know, a lot of people are. Do you, have you heard anything like feeling about like, how people are feeling and? I haven't heard much, but um, definitely um, from what I've heard, there's a lot of people that are um, excited to, to get back on the court and start running around again and, and shooting the ball through a hoop. So Yeah, I saw, a, I saw a couple of our supporters that have been long time, the set-up crew guys. Um, you know, and I, it's nice to see smiles on their faces because they can, you know, they, there's part of their life. They, they really look forward to it. So I think there's a lot of people in the world that, you know, if it's football or if it's basketball or if it's, you know, whatever their chosen sport is, uh, just to get some routine back, um, I think I think it's pretty cool. So uh, that that's good news for me. That's for everyone. It's good news for everyone. Sport revolve, you know, sport is quite important to, I'd say, majority people in this world. Yeah. Um, talking about we're competitive souls, you and I. Yeah. We like our little competitions or whatever. We had a little competition today, actually. We did. And we then did. I lost again. Um <laughs> So, uh, a little bottle o challenge. We're at the bottle shop and the lines were full, and we said, "Well, I'll go on this line, you go on that line." And I thought I was winning. You peaked early, man. I thought I was winning, <laughs> and then the lady forgot a damn Murphy's card. Oh! And then she held up the line, and then you pipped pe- pe- me by like, hey, "Well, how long do you reckon?" I, I I walked past you just as I reckon as you were picking your stuff up. Oh man, so disappointing. Which, did she forget her her mobile number as well? Yep. That's yep. the worst part. See, because I know I, I don't have my Dan Murphy's card. I just bang out my number. Yeah. But it's nothing worse than someone that forgets their Dan Murphy's card and then they pause and then they're like, oh, and then the person, the checkout person's like, oh, do you have like a mobile number that's connected to it? And then they're like, oh, um, oh, let's try this number. And you're just like, oh, come on. What? She had to get her phone out. <laughs> so she get her phone out. And then, so if, if she was organized, it wouldn't have been an issue at all. Um, so talking about being competitive, the good news related uh, to this is is that I'm a proud West Australian, Sam. Like I'm, I've been here my whole life. I've lived in the country. I lived in the city, and I, I love all things that are that are WA. I've coached the WA state team, and that's one of the proudest moments of my life. Um, but we're kicking Victoria's ass in COVID right now. Yeah, well, um, it's an exciting weekend, isn't it? We've our restrictions are um, lifted, not completely off, but I mean. As close as possible to it, I reckon. Which, um, and then hearing about over over east, it doesn't does not sound uh, very similar to what we're going to be doing this weekend. Yeah, well, I think you know they've had, well, Victoria particularly have had three hundred cases in the last week or something, or over a hundred cases, maybe over a hundred cases. Yeah. Um, so that's that's a lot uh, happening there. And one of the funny stories about that actually, I was listening to the radio, as everyone knows, I will get my news, and there was a a mayor of one of the towns in victoria and their town was put on the do not travel to yeah so within victoria there's certain suburbs you're not allowed to go to and then they weren't even notified or informed so he's going off on the radio saying well you know we're a safe suburb you can come to see us because oh. the, the state government said don't go to this suburb like and i was like oh wow okay <laughs> Crazy. So he's going off, this man, man, on public radio. So, yeah, right. Yeah. So, Good on him. So we, we don't have mayors doing that. Talking about mayors. Yes. So yesterday, so I, I work in a lot of schools, mm-hmm. and I, I, I'm at a particular school near, near where I live. Um, so I, I come home from my lunch break, and um, I'm sitting there with my wife just eating, eating my lunch, and then I see this dude walking on my lawn, and as a typical bloke, I'm like, What's this dude doing on my lawn? Seriously, why is he walking across my lawn? And I thought, you know what, it's probably one of those door knockers that's trying to sell me something or, you know, like if it's Jesus or if it's like a vacuum cleaner, I don't know, but they're going to try and sell me something. So he knocks on the door and I go, just, you know, I can't deal with this right now. So she gets up, opens the door. I'm not sure how, you know, um, 
like how like I probably should have been the man and, and got up, but yeah. you know I was half eating my lunch as well. And then uh, he goes, uh, "Hi, I'm the mayor of Joondalup, and uh, now that COVID's finished, I'm just knocking on people's doors, and here's my business card, and um, you know, yeah, right. <laughs> like, so I uh, just getting around to the public. What what do you think about that? Um, so I'm not really big into politics and anything like that. Like, oh, good on him. I guess he's trying to get his name out there or whatever. But yeah. Man, honestly, I thought it was cool. Like the mayor of Joondalup has come up to our door." Just some random house. Didn't know I lived there. And I actually, I, I have met the guy a couple of times at, at yeah. games and things. But And I was like, man, what are you doing? <laughs> Just knock, door knocking. Door knocking. So I actually think that's good that a politician's willing to get out there and, you know, show his face. And probably, because you're not p- political. I'm not really political either. But imagine knocking on the door of a local resident that has an issue. <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're here, Mr. Mayor. Um, my sewerage isn't working. <laughs> like, what? Just opens the door. What the hell do you want? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I didn't vote for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not voting for you again. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but, you know, I think that's, I think that's a, 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 good, um, a good example of what politicians can do. Get out in the public and talk to people. And it's probably safer than having a big rally where you've got a bunch of people that don't like you as well. So That's true, that's true. Yeah. The other, again, I'm on a real a little roll here. I love it. I but, love it. Um, I heard the other day, so Donald Trump. Everyone knows Donald Trump. And, you know, the fact that he's the president of America is just another thing, but we won't even go into that. So he was sprucing about, you know, he's having a rally. Yeah. And I can't remember what state it was, but he was having a rally. And he's going, it's going to be the biggest rally in the history of rallies. There's going to be so many people. And I guess this is good news. And there was only 6,000 people that rocked up. Yeah, which is right. not many at all for that sort of thing. So um, I think his popularity might be uh, on the decline. Yeah, I think I think it was on the decline quite a while ago, to be honest with you. But um, look, the sooner, sooner um, someone else is there, it's probably the better for that country. Yeah, well, and that'll be good news. We yeah. might even have an episode about that and just Maybe. talk about, um, you know, how he's messed things up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we definitely have enough to talk about. I think. Yeah, we might get an American guest on that week because yeah. they get they get pretty fired up about these. They issues. do, they do. Yeah. Which I mean, probably fair enough. Yeah, it's justifiable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and again, we're we're not overly educated when it comes to things American politics or Australian politics or politics in yeah. general. <laughs> but you know, it's our opinion. We, so. we can talk about it. Yeah, um, and we could probably have an episode on his hair. Yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? It's something else. I reckon it's real. Yeah. I, I don't think it's... What do they call it? Toupee? Yeah, I think it's a toupee. Yeah. Where he sort of sticks it on. Yeah. Do you think Kim Jong-un like, has similar... Like, his is real hair, but like the shape of the hair is similar, isn't it? Probably not as puffy, but it's still... It's similar, but, but at least his is real. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, I'll give you that. But... Do you think Donald Trump's trying to be like Elvis with his hair? You know how it's all fluffy on Yeah, the he's a bit... I reckon he's just had that toupee for a long time mm. and he's just grown emotionally attached to it yep. and, and just doesn't want to venture out and try something new. Yeah. Which, you know, I reckon, just get rid of it. Hey, Nixie, maybe you should tell, advocate for it. Just get rid of the hair. Yeah, that's it. What? Do an Nixie. Yeah, do an Nixie. Probably the other thing, and I know we've really gone off topic here, that's but right. that's okay. Um, with his, you know, because he had that reality TV show called The Apprentice. The Apprentice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when he loses his pre- presidency, who gets to say you're fired? <laughs> Is it the new president that comes in? Hopefully they get like every contestant that he just went savage mode on and they all just stand there in front of him yeah. and just all in sync to say you're fired. You're fired. Yeah. So that would be good news as well. But um, talking about other good news. So I was reading on, on the old interweb yeah. um, about a... I think he was Polish, like this Polish Olympian that sold his medal that he won at the Olympics to to pay for a kid's cancer treatment. Yeah, right. That, um... So that's I think that's that's the sort of stories that I'd like to hear, like people, you know, that aren't selling their Olympic medals because they've got gambling debts, <laughs> you know, and you hear about that. Yeah, but, definitely. Um, people that are selling their medals to do good for other people. Yeah, it makes you think, like, why haven't I not heard of that? Well, and that's the thing. Like, it's, they're not the things we hear about, no. you know. And there's plenty of people that are out there doing really wonderful things that we just don't hear about at all. Yeah, like, just 
just show us, you know, show us some good news. Why? And this is why we're here. We're stepping, filling that void. We're you know. stepping up to the plate. <laughs> you know, we may swing and miss, but hey. we're stepping up to the plate. Exactly. Yeah. We tried. We tried. Yeah. You know. But um, talking about good news, um, what I saw was there's this guy on YouTube and he's become viral recently. And he's doing like a little, um, kind of like a, a, a how-to thing as uh, stepping into that role kind of as a father. So those things like how to tie a tie and all that kind of stuff. So he's just doing little how-to videos on YouTube and he's just gone viral because I guess people are loving it and it's probably stuff that like a lot of people are like, well, like, damn, like, I need to learn how to do this. Well, do you know how to tie a tie? Nah. You know what? <laughs> My first... First um, first day of prac, I had to wear a tie, yep. right? And I was like, you know what? Got got the right YouTube video out. I was like, sweet as. Like, this will take me like five minutes. That's how long the YouTube video goes for. Um, you know, and it won't, it won't affect my, my time. I don't need to get up earlier. Nothing. Woke up. Got everything ready. Went to go put my tie on, right? And I was watching the video step by step, stopping, going back, everything, really trying to concentrate. Could not tie the tie. No matter how hard I tried, just couldn't do it. I reckon I spent about 15 minutes trying to tie a tie. And I ended up just giving up and finding one that was already like... Half tied. Yeah, so I just pulled it up. But yeah, like there was most like worst feeling I ever had in my life. Like I could not do it. And I was like, this is simple. And I just... It's not. There's two ways of tying a tie that I'm aware of. Yeah. I'm sure there's other ways, but there's a really easy way, and it just looks a little budget, like a little thin up the top or whatever. And then there's like a Windsor, yeah. which is which is cool. Once you get it though, you you just sort of get it. But the issue I have with tying a tie is the length of your tie, so how long and where you actually tie it. Tie, yeah. Because you end up having like a really short tie, or that you have a really long tie, and trying to get it perfect is hard because every tie I don't know where it is but every tie seems to be a different damn length yeah I th- well it's probably is there even a standard tie length well I think there's like gen- like there's like three or four different lengths so you can get like a 70 centimeter tie or a 110 centimeter tie yeah. or whatever it is and the standard but it's yeah I don't know I must have a heap of different length ties <laughs> or something. Um, and the other one is with a tie is that you can get thick ties or thin ties yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thick ties look better with a thicker knot, like a bigger knot. Yeah. Whereas the thin ties, you want a thinner knot. So you have to tie them a different way. So how are you meant to understand like all these different ways to tie a tie when you're not generally tying a tie? I'm not a fan of ties anyway. I think that's a, like subconsciously, I didn't want to tie the tie because I don't like ties. But if you had to wear a tie, so you're on a wedding, it's a black tie, you have to wear a tie. Are you wearing a like a long tie or are you wearing a bow tie? Oh, wow, that's um, that's a tough question. I don't like. Um, I'd probably ask whether I could go without a tie. Do you, first, that would be my first port of yeah. call. And then if they're like, "Nah, you got to got to wear a tie," yeah. Then I'd yeah. probably just I'd probably just wear a tie. Just a long tie. Yeah, I'm a, like just. Bro, you have a mustache. Yeah, you need a bow tie. Bow tie. Yeah, but you know they I'll, sort of go together. Mustaches. And bow ties go together. You know. Well, next time I need a, I've got a couple. I'll um, I'll get a bow tie on for you. Yeah, bow tie is the business. I, I I prefer a bow tie. Like I would wear a bow tie over a long tie, any day of the week. Any day of the week. I'd actually be interested in. Yeah. That like be... what what's people's preferences like? If you have to wear a tie, and you 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 can't ask Sam's question. Like it is a tie event. You have to go. Say you're a a guy, and you. are your partner, or girlfriend, wife, you know, you have to be there mm-hmm. and it's a tie event. What do you wear? A long tie or a bow tie? Yeah, that's a good question. We'll put that out there. We'll put that out there on the Instagram. Yeah. So I reckon that's I reckon that's an interesting one. Right, so this dude anyway, so this dude was what was he doing? Like he was teaching people how to book like tie. tie yeah, all or? like little little how to videos, just like stuff like stuff around the house, how to how to fix this, how to do that. Which I thought was just like pretty cool. And like the the thing like how he went viral, I think you know, that's probably a bit of good karma. You know, he's helping out a lot of people if he's going viral. So, I mean, it's kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Yeah, man. That I, yeah, I respect dudes that are willing to get out there and sort of educate people. Yeah, like, and I think he started during this 
um, all COVID time as well. So, you know. Smart though, because what else are people doing, man? Exactly. So there's another guy. He's been around for a long time. Mm. Um, He's how to dad is what he's called. He's from New Zealand. Yeah. And man, that dude is hilarious. Like he's, he is funny, you know, and he talks about like a a bunch of different stuff as well. Like, but it's more to do with child rearing and and raising your children rather than the, how you know, to, the other, the yeah. other stuff. So it's it's just how to change a nappy. Yeah, you know, and when he's changing a nappy, the baby wees all over him, and you know, <laughs> yeah, right, you know. a little bit more comedic value to yeah. it. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's quite it's quite funny. So it's not as informative. Yeah, but it's funny. So how to dad? Like if you're a dad out there, get on there, watch some <laughs> of his stuff, man. He's he's funny because you can relate as well. Like if you're a parent, and if you're not a parent, um, it's just good to laugh at a dude getting weed on. Yeah, I mean, never happened to me yet, but. Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah, I have. My advice to, to parent, and this will do it on the pod, because I've got a son and I've got two daughters, but my son, if it's sticking up, push it down. <laughs> straight up my advice, man. It's sticking up, push it down. That's my advice. So, well, anyway, I thought that's that's a, a bit of good news um, to, to start the pod. And, you know, there's plenty of good things happening in the world. So if something's good that's happening in your life or if you've heard something that you'd love us to, to discuss shoot us a, a dm on um, instagram or facebook and uh yeah we'll we'll get into it because uh we love the good news also just before we more good news i just thought okay. about it yep our youtube channels up and running because i don't think we i think it last week it wasn't up no, it and wasn't. running yeah no no it's, just, out, now it's, it's up. up and running yep it's sick still audio only but you know we'll get there you know bear with us we'll get some some video as well um, but it, it's just, yeah, the YouTube channel. So subscribe. We need some subscribers on there. Yeah, get on that and, and listen on there as well. Like, yeah, that's just, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know what images you've used, Sam, but... No, I just use the same picture every time. All I've done is cropped it with the circle of picture and then put a different um, colour on the border. Oh, no. <laughs> just, I love it. There's not much... Uh, yeah, look, my editing skills are, are lacking a little bit, but... Again, you've got such a big budget to work with. Exactly. Which is nothing. <laughs> so talking about that, man, if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> like you're yeah. free. Um, so just start sort of moving on. We did have some um, interaction. And, and probably the exciting thing about this competition we're running at the moment is that we've had more interaction than we've ever had. Mm, yeah. Uh, which, is, which is really cool. And, um, you know, we love it. And we genuinely do love interacting with, with people. And, and having. that's why we have guests on most weeks. and Well, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, most old. weeks. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we, we want people involved. So, again, if you want to come on the pod, you know, hit us up uh, as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we had some interaction. Um, and we had uh, one of our, our listeners talk about a, a basketball rule. But rather than just talking about, you know, the rule in basketball, mm-hmm. um, I thought we'd talk about, you know, rules, the changing rules in junior sport. So... You know, with footy, they have like an Aussie, uh, not, it's, it's an Aussie kick program. Yep, yep. Um, so it's all modified rules. Smaller uh, field. Smaller and stuff. field, yeah. in zones, mm-hmm. like so three different zones and stuff. Why, like, do you think it'd be more beneficial just to, because I'm a big believer, just throw them in the fire and if they, they, they don't burn and they're good or, you know, throw them in the water, they sink or swim. Yeah. Do, 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 what, do the, what do you see the benefits of, of having, say this basketball one was under 10s and under 12s not having a three-point line yeah it's um i find it it's interesting the whole changing stuff i think at a young age it's probably good like kids need to be learning the basic skills you know and i think modifying it sometimes maybe makes it a bit easier for them to develop those skills um going to that it was the yeah the three-point line for under what under 10s and under 12s um like with that it's, it's a tough one. I reckon maybe, yeah, you don't need to have the rule there. But I think with... Um, sometimes you see kids just fanging it from their hip and, you and like, it's not going nowhere near the hoop or it's... And, like, now with Steph Curry and all that, like, three-pointers is a cool thing to do. And I reckon kids are throwing their form out. Mm. You know what I mean? And then they get older and then they're still... And then you need to correct it when they, when they get older. I think... That keeps me employed, though. Yeah, I know that's true. So, yeah, <laughs> but I agree with you. Keep I think, fanging it from your hip, then. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I think it's more to do like particularly when you get to under twelve. So in under twelves, in like representative basketball, so the state league stuff, three pointers are included. Mm-hmm. But in domestic, 
they're not. So I think they're probably like in a like a, a more s- a lo- local league. You need to have like experience versus inexperience. Yeah. I think that's probably that's probably where the, where the change needs to, to come. If there's kids that are able to do it, yeah, you are you play them in a different league, I guess. Yeah, or something like that. But it's an interesting one. Like it's it's the same with footy. Like the the reason that with footy that the zones work is because if you've ever watched. A game of junior sport. Oh, if there's a ball, ball, yeah, it's just like a big rolling scrum. Yeah. Like, um, you want to try and avoid that, I guess. But yeah, so yeah, I don't know. I just think it's like if we had, if we had the solutions to all of these things, then we probably wouldn't be. Well, we'd still be doing the pod, but yeah, we we love yeah, doing the pod. Yeah, yeah but we yeah, we'd be getting paid a lot more well, yeah. than what we do in our life. So um, no, no, uh, no real solutions there, unfortunately. Yeah, just go go with the flow. Yeah. You know? Let's go with the flow. I reckon. Talking about flow. Yeah. Urinating in, <laughs> good, in good public. Trust. You like that yeah, transition like that. there? That really yeah, good. yeah. So talking about flow, yeah. So you, because being guys, we have the the lucky uh, privilege of being able to wee anywhere, mm-hmm. um, I guess. So is it better to wee outside or inside? Outside is my... Simple answer. And oh my god, I don't That's know whether you can hear that, but um, there's a rolling party that just went past us there. Um, so um, yeah, we're well, outside, so outside. Why? outside. Why? Um, just fresh air. Just the fresh air. I mean, there's not much more to it. I mean, it's just there's so many ways you can keep yourself entertained when you're outside. Like you know, different textures, different. You know, it's like sand. Like you can. Write your name, you know, all this kind of stuff. Talking about writing your name, like when I was younger and I first started drinking, so 12, no, I mean, <laughs> when I was 18, so I moved out in 18, we used to have competitions because we'd have a big night yeah, and to see who could write the name on the fence <laughs> and it was the best, like who could read it the best. <laughs> no, we did that. Yeah, I know, that sounds like a great time. <laughs> yeah, it was, like... <laughs> You know, and uh, my name's Charles. That's long, yes. man. <laughs> That's long. So you've got to build that up. You've for got a to while. hold it. In. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you've got to have quick drinks in between to try and top up, <laughs> so that you can finish your name. Um, but yeah, we used to do stuff like that. Um, there was a thing called a sheepy that was introduced like like a few oh, years yeah. ago. I think I've seen. And that, I think yeah. it was for festivals. So they get their sheepy and then they can walk into the male uh, urinal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we or whatever. Yeah, I've seen that. I think I, yeah, I've seen that now. But... Do you reckon if you're a girl and now knowing what you know about weeing outside, you'd use one of them regularly? Uh, if I was a, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Would you? I reckon I would. I reckon I would. I just can be, no, I don't have to go inside. Yeah. Because I feel like, I feel like girls have to wait so long to go Lines to the toilet like, and stuff particularly yeah. in like those big public events or whatever yeah you know like and then like say you're camping and you're camping in the bush mm-hmm. or whatever so that'd be way cooler to use one of those than you know having to find a place and move stuff and Hell squat yeah and, definitely yeah and we don't have, we're not experts of this obviously yeah, sure. um so we man we'd love opinion on this <laughs> yeah, well, have you used one before yeah like if anyone used one like but you know that's just the whole sheepy thing the concept's an interest. It's an interesting concept, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's when you think about it, like all inventions that are good, you know, there's there has to be a need, mm. and I think, I mean, I'm. It's probably a need, I reckon. Like sometimes, like you said, at like festivals and stuff like that. If if you need to go, you need to go. Yeah, you know, just get your your sheepy out and. <laughs> How do you store it? You have to bring a separate hand. Maybe you can get some disposable ones. Yeah, well, yeah, it's disposable, like a separate handbag. Or like, <laughs> yeah, you have your separate sheep. Like, oh, you've got two handbags. Well, you got, well, I'm Just, carrying my sheep. Yeah. You know, you know. Oh yeah. So, I mean. yeah, I just think yeah, and there is a bit of a freedom about having a wee outside. And at night time, stargazing, you can stargaze. Yeah, that's that is cool. When it's really yeah. cold, like it, like you see the steam. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. It's always been fascinating, but yeah, it is. Um, That's cool. Talk about steam. Like a different <laughs> subject. Um, I was this morning. Like this morning, I was walking to my car, mm-hmm. and it's happened a couple of times. But this morning, it really stood out. Um, I was like, see her to the family, or whatever, and then this like big, like white cloud of like steam. Yeah, like, yeah. Cause it was sort of early in the morning, or whatever, and. Um, 
Do you sort of imagine yourself being a dragon? No, I can't, I can't say that I imagine myself being a dragon. Um, it must be just me then. But. Yeah, I'm just more fascinated. I just look in awe and just make something out of it, I guess. Yeah, it's so, cool. It's so, it is cool though. Like, you're out cool. there. Like, do you find yourself then, like, if you're walking around that, like, and you're outside and it's really cold and you just. Yeah. Like, deliberately. Like, that's, yeah, all the time. Yeah. I think it's just natural reaction. It's. I think that's cool. I enjoy. I enjoy that. I like the steam coming out. And yeah. So it's like it's like a lot of people like watching fires. Yeah. You know, when you light up your little, um, what's the thing you got? Your, your little fire pit. Yeah, yeah. Everyone loves a fire pit. You know, just watching watching the the, the um the flame and the smoke. You know, come off it. Like. Well, I don't think we talk about spoke about this on our last pod, which we could have. But I cooked two roasts. You in did, my fire pit, you did, you did. Like in my thirty-nine dollar fire pit. So what I did for people that are listening here, I thought this was cool because you know how much a Weber costs. Oh, a lot. They are no like four hundred bucks, mm-hmm. like four hundred dollars. I paid thirty-nine dollars for my fire pit. So basically, with this fire pit, they gave me a, like a, this little grill thing, and then like a mesh top. Yeah. So what I did with the mesh top was I put L foil all around it to sort of seal it up. Yeah. Put a little a few holes in it for sort of like some heat to come out and you know moisture to come out i probably needed a few more because uh, it did actually get quite and i cooked two two beef roasts in my fire pit i thought that was pretty well, impressive I, but... I thoroughly enjoyed my my beef uh roll yeah it was very tasty I know, and it like had a little smoke flavor to yeah. it like which i thought was like quite interesting but so look if there's demand for it like i can Put pictures up and show people, you know, thirty nine dollar Weber. Maybe you can start like a little course, yeah. <laughs> like five bucks, five bucks to come learn how to uh, use your thirty nine dollar Kmart as a Weber bunning sim, yeah, as a, as a Weber. So yeah, maybe that dad that we spoke about, like he does things, yeah, little, like, that. like that's a pretty handy. Maybe dad maybe we could put it on our YouTube channel. <laughs> that's actually a pretty pretty good idea. I'll show people how to, to do. It. But anyway, so thirty nine bucks, and basically, so I thought that was alright. So going back to sort of the cold weather, mm-hmm. um, I'm in like a really old stingy, like I'd call it a bunkie. Like my car is a cheap car. Yeah. It's still got a tape deck. Yeah. Like in it. And I get this, I might, I drive it all the time. So it is my, my wife's car, but I drive it all the time. So it's my car. Yeah. Yeah. And she gets the nice one. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Applaud. What a yeah. gentleman. Well, yeah. Um, so wind down windows. Mm-hmm couple of things about that car to start with is really annoying. Really yeah. annoying. First thing is not having Bluetooth. Do you have the cigarette lighter thing? Yeah, I could go do that, but like I just like it inbuilt. It's just yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah. Fair. So, I mean, it's not too hard to set up. I'll set it up for yeah. you. So I need Bluetooth because yeah. I don't want to get caught on my phone because I got caught on my phone once. Oh, $600. Yeah. No, was it $400 and six points? Yeah, it's not worth it. So, yeah, and then I, I can't even like it. I think it was actually quite something important that I was checking, that and I was is. at a set of lights, and I was stopped, and I wasn't driving. But anyway, yeah, it was illegal, um, and that's fine. I paid it and didn't complain. So, yeah, so that's one thing. The other thing is it hasn't got central locking, mm. and it's got key central locking. So yeah, not the when press you, button. Yeah, you got to stick the key in, and that is the single most annoying thing on earth. So. When I finish work at the end of the night and I've had training and I've gone to the gym and I've taken my lunch, I'm carrying a heap of stuff. Yeah. And some of the stuff's on the other side of the car mm-hmm. because I can't obviously have it on my waist yep. while I'm doing stuff. So I have to basically get all of my stuff up, reach over, put it on the ground, then lock it, pick all my stuff up. Like it's, am I being a, like nah. a whinger or is it just... My old car also was the same situation. Um, so, and now my car that I have now has a button for the boot, so I can just click the button for a boot, and and that opens up, and I chuck everything in, and there's no stress really. So it's it's definitely helpful. Yeah, and then like, say when you're on a like a busy road, so you're on a, a busy road, and you you obviously drive on the left hand side. Yeah, I'm a big yeah. advocate for it. Yeah. yeah. You have to get out of your car, stand there while things are going up, and then lock your door. Yeah. As well. So, and then if you've got a passenger, like a child passenger, but anyway, yeah. 
So that's not what actually where I was going to. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's really annoying. But probably the number one sort of most an annoying thing is the no electric windows. Now the thing with electric windows when it's really icy, yeah, you can put all your windows down and it gets rid of it and you can yeah. see it. So you're in your car. Usually you start the car, you don't even check like you check your mirror or whatever. Yeah. So for me, like I've got to wind down all four <laughs> windows so that I can see where I'm going. You know what I mean? Like it's that's really difficult. That is difficult, but it's all part of it, isn't it? Oh, it's an experience. I mean, you know, you can say you're one of probably very few now that would have to do that. Yeah, well, that's true. Well, when was the last time you had a cassette? Um, yeah, a long time ago. Man, I, I can't remember the last cassette. I reckon it was in the 90s the last time I, I touched a cassette because the CDs come out in like early 90s. Like, Yeah, no, I was... Um, when was the last time you had a C- t- You were young, man. When was the last time you used a CD? CD? Yeah. No, I was like... I, I was all about my brother's like summer mixes and stuff like that. I think, I, yeah, probably having like an older brother, I was probably a little bit more... Um, yeah, I was introduced to that kind of stuff mm. while other people my age might not have if they didn't have yeah. an older brother or, or sibling because yeah I'd, I'd CDs I, I had um, I had the um, tape deck thing with the CD on top nah oh yeah I've had those yeah. but I had a um, tape recorder thing with a microphone on it okay so I could record um, on the tape rap songs and stuff yeah I was yeah back, I was on my grind back You're in the day we bars. could almost we could almost if it still works Get some batteries and record a, a podcast on tape. Really? Yeah, I reckon we could. Cool. <laughs> you know, I reckon, I reckon that's something that we need to to sort of look into. And then, yeah, I don't know how to. Um, can you like duplicate tapes? Uh, so, like, if we record on one tape and then like yeah. made like five of them. Yeah, you, you used to be able to. Yeah, you used to because that's how they used to like do yeah, mixtapes and yeah. stuff. So they'd have a CD. Like, no, a, a tape in one, and then they have another tape in the other, and, then, and you play one, and then record on the other, and then you pull the oh. other tape out, and then put another one, and that's how they made their mixtapes. Well, there we go. We might yeah. make five of them, you know? Real limited edition... Five cassettes. Yeah. And then that's all I'll listen to in my car, because that's all <laughs> like, I can. The other thing, like, talking about that, you know, we, we digress a lot, but that's okay. Um, talking about the way that sort of music's progressed, so they had... Remember iPods? Mm-hmm. Um... No, so with iPods, um, they were so expensive. How much, like, remember? Do you remember? Do you ever have an iPod? Yeah, I had the. Um, I just had the um, like the first iPod Touch. Yeah, and then before that was like MP3 players. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember having an MP3 player, which was like four hundred and fifty bucks. Like it was ridiculous. It was so expensive, and it was so hard to get stuff on, on. And, like sort of off that as well. So. Like, it's just the way it evolved. And now they're null and void. Now everything's streamed. Yeah, there's no need. Like, when was the last time you listened to something that you had, like, like a CD or, like, a saved MP3 or... I, I can't remember, to be honest with you. Maybe, like, every once in a while. Maybe, like, if I clean out, like, a cupboard or something and I see, like, a CD, I'm like, oh, like, chuck this in and see what's on it. Mm-hmm. And listen to it or, or watch, but yeah, not. I wouldn't say it's been a long time. Do you reckon DVDs are going in that direction? Do you remember, like, you'd always? Oh, there's no need for DVDs now because you just stream stuff yeah, or download it, yeah. don't you? So yeah, DVDs are gone, going. Because I think, like, I know obviously there's like no Video Easy or Blockbuster or nah. nothing those. And the same with Sanity actually, because I remember being a kid. When I say kid, like late teenager, yeah. like, and I'd go into a Sanity store. And I'd just be cruising around in there, looking at albums for hours and hours. And that's probably why I like JB Hi-Fi, to be honest. Because they they've got the got records the and stuff. stuff yeah. and you can go in there and... But, like, I'll listen to a record. Yeah. Records are coming back in now. And that's bizarre, though. Yeah, it's weird. Because it's like a primitive format. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, because the, the, the thing with records is that they're recorded in such a way that the, the audio quality is definitely better. Yeah. And the way they play it. But it's... But it's so old school, isn't it? I guess it's it's all the aesthetic, isn't it? I guess it's like fashion a little bit as well yeah. because fashion recycles itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that's what it is. It's yeah. that vintage. You know, vintage is in. Vintage is in. 
So yeah. like, anyway, so we went completely <laughs> off no. off target there, but that's okay. Um, magic. What do you think of magic? Magic. Magic. Um, magic is cool. Magic is is amazing. Some of it. Some of it's a bit like, uh, some of it's good. Um, a lot of people that do magic um, full time are a bit weird. Not taking, they're probably good people, but they just, they just, you know, I think sometimes it's a good, um, they do it because it's cool and people are amazed by it. And it's a nice little like social getting, like a uh, little icebreaker kind of thing. Does yeah. that make sense? Like, hey, you want to watch this trick? Oh, yeah, like, show me. Oh, like, whoa, that was sick. Like, oh, like, and then conversation flows. What's cooler, though, because magic is, I think magic's cool as well, but, um, is a card trick that has, like, a funny punchline that's hilarious at the end, or, like, an illusion where you're like, whoa, how did, what? I think... What's cooler? I think illusion. I think sometimes some of those, some of those illusions are... Uh, probably a little bit more like mind blowing yeah I'd say have you seen like the it's a glass bottle one I'm certain it's a glass bottle one where they'll grab it and they'll smash like a phone against the glass bottle yeah, and then and the it, phone's in the glass bottle yeah yeah it's crazy there's got obviously it's an illusion and there's some sort of trick there but how do you not just lose your mind when someone's practiced something so much that they're able to do that yeah well, it's, I don't yeah a lot of it is just I watch all the there's quite a few um I think it's like Magic for Humans on Netflix or something like that. Okay. That dude's pretty, like, the stuff that he does, it's like, how the, like, how do you do that? I think, like, it's sort of like, you know, in the 80s, I feel like Magic sort of followed music a little bit. So they had all those glam rock yeah. type bands and stuff mm-hmm. where they'd wear makeup and long hair and dress funky. Yeah. And then you have someone like that Chris Angel Mind Freak guy, and it's just about a persona or a character. Yeah, yeah. So he's doing the same tricks as other dudes, but because he looks so damn like it's the performance aspect of it, isn't yeah. it? You know, and you see a guy on the street that's wearing eye makeup and big hair and like huge personality. You know, it's it could be the same as like a guy dressed in a flannel. Same tricks, but which one you gonna watch? Yeah, you're more drawn to the out there character. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's all cool. Magic's cool. Magic's cool. I like, I like when you've got a mate that's got like a really cool card trick, and like you've got like new mates that come around. Yeah. And they've never seen it before, and you know how the card trick goes, and you're like, oh, and you get that little buzz, like, man, he's just gonna mess with <laughs> these dudes' minds, and then you, like, they're there, and they're like, well, how did how did he do that? And then they ask you, and you're like, well. Right. magician never tells you <laughs> secrets not that we could ever commit like we could never actually do it nah actually I'll show you a magic trick tonight will you? yeah, yeah I, got, I got a little little magic box should we film it? maybe yeah we might do that alright so we'll, we'll magic we'll film the magic yeah, trick yeah we'll do it later alright we'll put it on our new YouTube channel yeah. which are all of our all of our videos are yeah. on uh, as well subscribe so, subscribe like and drop a comment yeah <laughs> so talking about that we're sort of at the end of um this week's episode and you know I thought you know the fact that it was you and I that's a really good song actually you and I from that Coach Nicks dude oh really, yeah, yeah. really good song he goes alright eh? yeah, yeah he's alright um, but yeah um, you know, I thought we did a good job so I'm looking forward to our next episode which I think we're going to have another member of yeah, the esteemed family the family's say. back on well, yeah. um, well if someone else wants to jump on the pod you know maybe my family might take a back seat to to jump it on the pod because um yeah it's, it's starting to become a bit of a, a family affair and we'd like to yeah branch it. your family's good but yeah well i see them i, I had some really positive feedback from the old yeah, chook last yeah. week yeah, yeah it was good having your mum on yeah it was a little different so um i think the mums have been the favorite to be honest probably yeah, yeah. so just remember uh, get on our facebook and share get on our instagram and and share remember to hashtag opinions unqualified yeah um as always we appreciate you guys taking the time to uh to listen to us uh you got any passing knowledge um no take it easy and just yeah get around the challenge people are having fun with it so yeah sure